Temple Traditions, Summer Festival and Construction Report 3 Humble Life in a Countryside the other day, I had the chance to join an annual event at a local temple in a nearby city. It was my first time attending, and it felt like everyone there already knew each other, like one big, warm family gathering. One of the highlights was the Hiwatari, where we walked on freshly burnt ashes. Afterward, there's a small creek beside the temple, and we cooled our feet in its cold, refreshing water. The nature around the temple is so beautifully preserved, it brought back a wave of nostalgia. And after Hiwatari, it came the feast. Everything was absolutely delicious, making the day even more special. I am now showing pickles of cucumbers and eggplants. This is our breakfast the other day, and I'm proud to say that nearly 90% of what's on the table came either from our garden or our neighbors. That means everything is super fresh and full of flavor, just the way we like it. There's something so satisfying about knowing exactly where your food comes from, especially when it's grown right in your backyard. It's a reminder of the simple pleasures in life, like enjoying a meal that's not just delicious, but also a little celebration of the hard work and care that went into growing it. Our small, close-knit community recently celebrated its summer festival, and it was such a vibrant event. The highlight was the Mikashi, which was carried through most of our area by a group of dedicated people before being returned to its original spot at the temple in our town. Now, if you're not familiar with a makashi, let me explain. A makashi is believed to house the spirit of a deity, and during the festival, it's carried through the streets by a group of people. This act is more than just tradition, it symbolizes the deity being paraded around the community, bringing blessings and good fortune to everyone in the area. For our third round of cement insertion, we set up a sturdy support system using taller boards, carefully held in place by metal sticks. Two vehicles arrived to lend a hand, one mixed the cement, while the other delivered it precisely where we needed through a tube. It was quite the operation. A dedicated worker was on hand to clean up the area right after the cement was poured, ensuring everything was neat and tidy. After a few days of letting the cement dry and settle, the team returned to remove the support structure. Everything went smoothly, and the area looks great. That's it for this update. I'll be back with more progress next time. Thanks for following along with our journey.